right, raise your glasses because it's been 100 years since you weren't able to for a bit. Yeah, the 100th anniversary of Pro Prohibition is tomorrow. Mob Museum is looking at its history and how it played a very important part in the rise of organized crime in America. Jeff Schumacher are, and LJ are here from the Mob Museum. We're going to talk all about tonight's event going down at the Mob Museum. Good morning to both Welcome of you. In. Thank you for wading through that special report. Uh, but it was, it was a wait well worth it because uh, we have a very fun Now we all need on. a drink. I know. <laughs> yeah, can we lighten things up, please? Yeah, a little bit. My goodness. What's going on tonight down at the museum? Well, uh, we have uh, activities focused on sort of the last call, right? This is the last call before Prohibition started 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. So we're having an opportunity for people to drink legally, in theory, uh, uh, for the last time before the institution of Prohibition. Mm -hmm. uh, tell, tell us how, uh, how did that whole Prohibition thing go? Yeah, well, it didn't go well. Yeah. Uh, from, you know, when uh, Prohibition started in 1920, it lasted till 1933. But people started violating the law, really, in 1920. At 12.02 uh, 12 a.m. 12.01 yeah. or 12.02 a.m., they were ready to go. Yeah. So it, uh, it didn't go very well. Yeah. Uh, enforcement was lax in many places. I mean, some cities, uh, you know, really, the drinking just went on and the establishments continued to operate. Uh, organized crime developed, made tons of money mm -hmm. selling illegal booze or in, you know, smuggling it from Canada or from England or wherever. Wow. Uh, and then people made booze too. Uh, and it was, uh, it was a free for all, really. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where this moonshine comes in when people are making their own booze. I mean, it, it's interesting to look back uh, at that time in history because it's really fascinating how the industry sort of, uh, you know, kind of. Uh, operated underground during that time. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the underground. What a segue. Uh, that was good. Yeah, yes, see, LJ's like, wow. LJ, <laughs> tell us what you do in a place called the underground. Um, I bartend at the Mob Museum, and tonight we are having the last call event. And in honor of the 100th uh, anniversary of Prohibition, we are um, serving mocktails for those of us that um, are looking for some alternatives to alcohol. Okay. Um, but we also have drink specials for the night that have alcohol. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, and for tonight's event, we also have have live music, a photo booth, and uh, a moonshine toast at midnight. Wow. So. There oh, we fun. go. Listen, if you uh, have the moonshine, <laughs> raise a glass to it. Well, you're you're going to make us something right now. What do you yes. Have? So I'm going to make us one of the mocktails that we are featuring. This one is going to be called the Raspberry Lavender Fizz. Oh, boy. It features oh, fresh right like, yeah. like raspberries. <laughs> he likes anything fruity because, yeah. you know, I just can't, that's how he I rolls. I can't handle my alcohol, but, the, you know, just... Yeah. Anything, just the, the, the girliest drink that you could imagine is usually yes. the one on the menu that I would go for. I like to think this is for everybody. All right, fair enough. Well, I'm, I'm okay. everybody. There we go. So it does have fresh squeezed lemon juice, a house-made raspberry lavender syrup. So it's fruity. It's floral. Look it's at that refreshing. salsa bar. Very I love oh, it. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a cool salsa bar. That's cool. When they were building the bar, they were trying to make it as historically accurate as possible. Okay. And so yeah. um, our bar doesn't have those soda guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I love that. And, and I noticed you were... Uh, not using plastic straws because this is free plastic straw. We have yeah. a bit of a debate going on, but it's those are very pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's whatever. Yeah, no, that's just, right. say, just, say, just drink the drink. It's I don't okay. know if anyone wants to try this. I one. will absolutely Shonda. try that. that uh, I <laughs> also have a rosemary uh, grapefruit and a key sober. You cheers. Cheers to Prohibition. No yes, sir. I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't drink very often, so I don't really know about this whole cheers thing. Uh, okay. uh, but Ooh, very, very good. This is fantastic. Ginger and rosemary in here? Yeah. Very herbal, yeah. And, and Whoa. Very, very right. How oh do we get into gosh. this event? Do you need to be invited? Do you need to have like a special? Mm. That's a good one. Uh, oh. You do need a password to get into the bar. And this, this week's is password so is swanky. 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 <laughs> What's the password? Swanky. Swanky. Yeah. Yeah. Opens yes. up and you're in. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Cool. What gave you the idea for this? Uh, for the for the yeah. speakeasy? Yeah. Well, obviously, this was like the best time for the organized crime in America. And so since mm. we tell the story of organized crime and its, and its rise in, in our country, we thought, well, why don't we highlight uh, this period of time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we created what I consider an exhibit that happens to have a working bar <laughs> in it. Yeah. LJ, LJ might say it's a, it's a bar that actually has some exhibits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but in, in either case, it's, it's educational while you're having a good time. It's incredibly yeah. creative, and we're so proud of what you guys have done to downtown. It's really, really cool. Uh, very exciting tonight. We also want to mention you just launched a new app that's a whole lot of fun, and the Mob Museum actually sent out uh, My Doppelgangster. Yes. So you can, you can put your face. They will do a scan and, and find the appropriate gangster that is closest 
to you, maybe somewhat, maybe inspire you to learn more about that person Absolutely. or about that historical Absolutely. character. Very excited about that. Great awesome. to have you. Congratulations Thank on you. everything. Visit the Underground Mob Museum for their last call, 100 Years of Prohibition event. It starts tonight at 8 o'clock. You can get in for free. All you have to do is go, what's the password? Swanky. Swanky. Downtown Mob Museum. You know where they are. You can uh, give them a call or check out the website on your screen or download the app. We'll or be just back. Ask for LJ. Yeah.